Hey guys, welcome back to our urban homestead and today is, well, we're having cabbage for dinner. You can probably guess what day it is <laughs> and I am going to finally be trying out the salad spinner that I got from Timu. I'm excited to see how well it works. And show you how I make my fried cabbage. So let's get into it. As a reminder, use the code to get 30% off of your Timu products, especially if you are a new customer. So to start with, I took the outer leaves off. These are going to go to the chickens. They love it. I'm only going to do about half of this head of cabbage for this recipe anyway. There we go. <laughs> And so can you see the core? What I do is I just cut down um, on each side of it. Pop that core out, that'll go to the chickens as well. Then I'm just gonna slice this. We're gonna slice and dice. Then I'm gonna put it into the salad spinner that I got from Team U. Ooh, spin the salad. I know. Ooh. Super exciting. Spin the salad. <laughs> it's over. It's okay. Your viewers should be used to it by now. Yeah. And so then it has this little top here. And this is where you can add the water, spin it, and then drain the water. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to fill this up with water. and let that set while I get the onion cut. While it's soaking in the water, you can also turn the handle both clockwise and counterclockwise. And that will just kind of agitate it and make sure that all of, you know, sometimes there's dirt in your food, especially if you grow your own, which I highly recommend. So we're just gonna let this sit while I chop the onion. All right, cabbage has been thoroughly soaked. I have a cast iron skillet heating up. And then we're gonna give this a spin. noisier than I expected it to be, honestly. Um. Okay, and that broke. So, Overall, so far, not too impressed with the salad spinner. 
but you know, I'm giving you my honest review. It's not going to be uh, a review where like, oh, everything is wonderful just because I got a free product. This is, I mean, this is the real life. Yeah, so I would not, this is honestly, it breaks my heart to say, this is like the, the thing that I would not recommend. But on a good note, you can still use this little basket and insert for soaking your lettuce. Um, the spare part just does not work very well. But this little colander is probably great for a lot of things. So I think uh, come garden harvest, I will still probably use this. Well I, guess, well, I guess you can use. They just need to work on the handle part. <coughs> But, I mean, every, you know, this is working perfectly fine now. So it's not a total loss, you guys. And, um, yeah. Once this little piece is not on, it seems to work pretty good. All right, my cast iron is like screaming hot. Onion. And the cabbage. And just like any other green, this is going to cook down a lot. I like to put the onions in first so they can kind of get like that caramelized. So for this other half of the onion, I'm going to take a big, one of the big leaves and just put it like that. Store it in my fridge. This will, oh, pardon me. This will last a very, very, very long time in the fridge just like that. So the salad spinner is not a total wash. Like I said, the little top part could use a little work, but I mean, you can still work it by um, just a, you know, just the handle. Like that. Um, so I don't think it's a total disappointment. I also think that they could work on that a little bit better and make it so people didn't have to just use that. And that is my honest opinion on that. So does this experience discourage me from ordering Team U again? Absolutely not. And um, this is honestly the first thing that has not worked as planned. I could have easily edited out the part where it didn't work, but I like to keep um, my reviews and my content 100% honest and 100% true. I don't want to um, lose the integrity of my channel by editing that thing, those things out. Some other channels might do that. That is up for you to decide. If you see a channel that's like, everything is amazing, every single item is amazing that you know that probably speaks a little to their integrity um i am not in it just for free 
uh, products. I like to try products and recommend products and companies that I think you guys would love. Will I still order from Team U? I absolutely will. I just, um, you know, maybe I'm gonna give them a little bit of feedback on how they can improve this top portion. It's not like, it's not, com it's not completely ruined. Um, so I still definitely will be using this. They just need to work a little bit on this little top spinner part. So, um, you know, I just want to let you guys know that. I also don't get any commission when you order Team U through my website. Like, I don't get any commission from that. This is my extreme, honest opinion, and I think that's important. The good, bad, and the ugly, right? Not a lot of people show the honesty and all of that. And I just want you guys to know that I will never review, first of all, a company that is a scam. And when I do review a company's products, I'm gonna give you the honest, the honest review. So the cabbage has been frying for a moment. I like to add a little bit of garlic powder salt and pepper. Smells really good. So some people on this particular day that I'm cooking this, they like to have boiled cabbage. Uh, you know, that's, I know that's traditional. We are not a fan of boiled cabbage. April has very traumatic childhood experiences from boiled cabbage. <laughs> but she does not mind eating it fried. So that's what I do. So we're just gonna let this cook down a little bit and then I will show you our plate. So we're going to have some of the red potatoes that were grown from our garden this year. I'm still going to, I'm using this colander that came in the salad spinner. Give them a quick rinse. Pop them into a microwave safe dish. I have added some butter and these are gonna get microwaved. Now, I have not cleaned my microwave in weeks. I really do love this. This is from Team U also. These are microwave safe magnets that just stick up on your microwave. And then when you want to heat something up, you just pop it down. Um, it really does do a wonderful job of keeping your microwave clean. So I do highly recommend that. That is not dirt. That is um, like where the enamel has gone off. But I do highly recommend those. So. That's what we're gonna do for the potatoes. I'm just gonna microwave those for about five minutes. The cabbage is done. It smells amazing. I like to, when I fry cabbage, I don't want it to be mush. I turn it off, you know, that way it's still a little bit crunchy and it will soften up in the next couple minutes, but it won't be like mushy and watery. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. All right, let's... Ooh, that is hot.
pull the taters out and see how that just pops right back up onto your uh, the top of your microwave. I absolutely do highly recommend this. And this was super, super duper, duper affordable. I have put the, ooh, I have put this in my microwave or not my microwave, my dishwasher several times. So you know how like when you do like tomato products or anything that's messy, it will just all splatter up on here. It's completely dishwasher safe. I 100% recommend that. Very super affordable as well. Irish. <laughs> You are. I is Irish Chibrog. Yes. Yes, Morgus Borg. Uh, so in case you guys can't, y'all will see this, you know, much after this day. But if you can't tell what day it is. Mm. Not boiled. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's. Mm. Oh my gosh. With a D, not a T. Because a patty is... A cut that of cabbage is good. Yeah. Sorry about later. Well, I mean, apologize to your mom because you never liked her boiled cabbage. <laughs> boiled dinner? Wait, should I do a boiled dinner? I have to work late that night. <laughs> so the cabbage is good. Mm -hmm. What about our red potatoes that we grew? Good. And look at that. Beautiful corn beef. I honestly think it's probably been 20 years since I've had corned beef like this. I mean, I haven't made it the whole time we've been married, so. Mm. Oh, good. Is it tender? It's not like mm -hmm. tough or dry? No, it's really good. Okay. So mm -hmm. that is our St. Patty's Day traditional Irish Vatersburg. Yeah. I mean, believe it or not, guys, she is you're what, Irish and German. And, German and, and Finnish. Finnish. Yeah, that's why she's so tall. It's that Finnish. <laughs> oh, tell everyone happy St. Patty's Day. Mm -hmm. Happy St. Patty's Day. To you. <laughs> She's the Irish. I'm like the little leprechaun because I'm. Because <laughs> oh I'm, you know, much shorter than she is. I just choked on my. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please try the TMU products. <laughs> From one leprechaun to another. <laughs> Don't forget to use my code if you do um, decide to try it. This is just my honest review of the products. Not everything is Pinterest perfect and not everyone is going to give you the real deal. But this little lepre leprechaun will. So, until next time guys, from our kitchen... To yours. Abundance and blessings to you. Abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye, guys.